Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we are going to look at pyramids and the different parts of pyramids. There are going to be a couple different videos today. Um, some on the slant height and how to find that, some on the surface area, and then the different types of pyramids. So the first thing we're going to do is let's just define what a pyramid is. A pyramid ha is a three-dimensional figure with a base and triangular sides called faces. So this pyramid has what we call five faces. One, two, three, four, and then the base is the fifth. It's got four what we call lateral sides that are all triangles. See the four, and then we have a square base. So that makes a pyramid because it's got a point. Okay, so the point is called an apex, and we have a base that the that sits on the ground. And again, we have the triangular faces. So we're gonna kind of focus on these triangular faces. Okay, for this particular problem, we're gonna talk about the slant height. And you're gonna need the slant height when it comes to find surface area. So let's define what the slant height is. Well, we have an edge right here, and that's actually not the slant height. The slant height is going to be from the apex to the midpoint of this side over here on along the base. So that's got to be right in the mid at the midpoint to create a right angle. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take this face and I'm going to draw it up here. So this point up here is my apex and this is down to the side of the base. Okay, so let's say that we know that the side of the pyramid is 10. And we're going to assume that this is an equilateral face. Then I can label this side 10 because that's the edge of my face. Well, if it's equilateral, I know that all three sides are 10. That makes this piece 5 and this piece of the base 5 because it cuts it in half. And then I'm working with a 30, 60, 90 right triangle where the 60 degree angle is up here, but I've cut it in half to 30. There's a 60 degree angle over here, and so I have a 30, 60, 90. And the rules for 30, 60, 90 say if I take the short leg and I multiply by the square root of 3, I have the altitude, which is our slant height. So that means the slant height is going to be 5 square root 3. And that's how I find it using my 30, 60, 90 rules. Now, if we didn't have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, I could use the Pythagorean theorem. Notice I just have a right triangle. I know the hypotenuse and I know one of the legs. So you can also do it that way. Okay, so let's look at a couple of different shapes. Let's look at this next one. Okay, this pyramid, let me get it in the screen a little bit better for you. This particular pyramid has got a triangular base and triangular faces but you can find the slant height the same way. You would just isolate this face and then find the altitude from the apex to this opposite base. So let's try one more, but this time we're gonna assume we do not have an equilateral triangle. Let's just say we have a triangle that this edge is 12 and the base down here, let's say it is eight. Okay, if we draw that altitude down from the apex down to this opposite side to create the slant height. Okay, we're cutting this opposite side in half, so that makes this 4 and 4. And so now I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the height. So to find this, I'm going to take this side I don't know, that's a squared, and then the little side that's 4, that's b squared and I'm going to plug it in with 12 or c squared. So I'm using the Pythagorean theorem to actually solve for that height. So let's see, when I get ready to do this, I'm going to do a squared plus 16 equals 144, just squaring those out. So I'm going to take 144 minus 16, and I'm going to get 128, so a squared is equal to 128. So let's take the square root of both sides. Square root of a squared is a, and then I've got to break down 128. So let's divide it by 2, 
and it's 64, so that's the square root of 2 times 64. Well, 64 is a perfect square, so I'm going to take an 8 out, so it's 8 square root 2. And that would be my slant height right here that I've now isolated. And that's how you find slant height in a pyramid.